Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. I'm back again with another video. And today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the brand new Motorola Photon 4G from Sprint. Alright? Now shout out to Motorola on this one because um, this one is a go. Alright? As you can see, it's already Floss certified. Alright? Because I've been rocking it all day and let me just tell you, this is certified go. Alright? Now, like I said, Motorola, you know, they've been out the phone game for a minute. You know, and recently they started coming back in, like with the Motorola Atrix and all that. But the Atrix was kind of disappointing; it was kind of slow and shit. You know, they got a few other Motorola phones out right now, but um, they've been out the game for a minute. And um, I'm glad this phone came out because it's bringing Motorola back up into the front lines again. You know, I'm an old school cat. You know what I'm saying? So I had the Motorola StarTac. If you don't know what the StarTac is, Google that. That Motorola phone basically changed the whole cell phone game back in the day. You know what I'm saying? That was the first small flip phone. Had the, you know, the green and yellow colors on the screen. I mean, that phone was just a, a, a game changer. And then they brought that out, and then they basically disappeared off the set. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of young cats, they think Motorola just, you know, make police radios and walkie-talkies and all that stuff. But um, Motorola been in the phone game for a minute. They took a break, but they back out again with the Photon 4G. All right? So now, first of all, let's take a look at the box. All right. As you can see, it's a nice box. Everybody knows I like a nice box. This is a nice quality box. All right. It comes like this. You open it up like this, and then inside you have the device. All right. Now when you pop out the device, you have this, which is not really much. You have the USB uh, USB cable. You got the adapter to plug it in, and you got the books. All right. And that's it. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, why do I still even bother doing unboxing videos? You know, why not do, you know, why not just do the real review of the phone or whatever? But um, a lot of people want to see what it, what it looks like, you know, when you first buy the phone. A lot of people want to know what comes with the phone, whether it comes with headphones or, you know, does it have a different kind of uh, micro USB or regular USB or, you know, Samsung, like with their proprietary jack, you know what I'm saying? So people want to see this kind of shit, whatever. So I ain't going to waste too much time with that. You already seen what's in the box. So now let's get to the phone, all right? Now, meanwhile, let me, let me just uh, throw this out there also. This phone is going to run you 550, all right? If you just woke up in Sprint right now and you don't got and you don't got to upgrade and, you know what I'm saying, you just want to buy the phone straight up, it's going to cost you 550, all right? Plus tax, that's going to be $600 and change, all right? Let, you know, let me repeat that. $600 to walk in and, and cop this out of Sprint without a contract, all right? But, um... So far, to me, it looks like it's worth it, though. It, it looks good. All right, so let's take a look around the phone and see what it looks like. On the front, on the bottom, you know, you got your usual home, back, menu, you know, buttons like that. They, you know, they built into the screen, so that's good. On the right side, you got the HDMI port. You got the micro USB charging port, okay? On the back, you got 8 megapixel uh, camera with dual LED flash. Which is good, you know, for when you're using a flashlight and, and you're going to get good pictures in the dark. Got a nice Motorola emblem on it. And also, you have the kickstand, which a lot of people who had the Evo, y'all know how important that kickstand was. Let me see if I can open this shit. Bingo. All right. So you got the kickstand, so when you're in landscape mode and you're watching, um, you know, YouTube videos and all that. Okay. Let's take a look at the other side. You got the volume up and down. You have a dedicated camera button. Now, if you can look closely, look at these now. These, th this is a nice hardware right here. Look at look at the buttons. It kind of looks like a speakerphone grill, but these are the volume up and down. They have a nice texture to it. You know, and, and that's just a nice plus, you know, when, when a company makes, you know, little little extra features like that. that. That's just nice in my opinion, all right? On the top, you got the power button, and you got the 3.5 millimeter standard headphone jack, all right? So that's basically it. Now, this is what it looks like when you power it on. You unlock it. And you get, now, you get the Moto Blur. I don't know if they, I don't even think they still call it Blur no more, but it used to be called Blur. That's the UI that you're going to get with this. And it's pretty good, all right? So now let's take a look on the phone. Let's, let's see how it looks, how it reacts. You know, it it works pretty good. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. It's not as fast and responsive as the Evo 3D, but, you know, it's pretty good. You know, it's pretty responsive. You got the, you know, the same, you got the notification bar. It slides up and down. You can see, you know, you get Facebook and all that, notifications, all that. You know, I got my standard apps, Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Voice. You know the usual shit I got on my phone, you know. 
let's take a look now at some of the widgets. Now you see, you can use your regular Android widgets, you know, that everybody's familiar with, all of that stuff. But now you also have the Motorola widgets. Okay, now I didn't get in too deep with these yet because, you know, this is the first Motorola phone I had with the new UI in it. So I don't really know all of these, um, these widgets so far, but I've been playing with them all day today. They seem pretty cool. Like, let's click on the social network and let's see. Um, all right, now that's somebody's Facebook. The good thing about these widgets also, you can resize them. Let me see how to, yeah. So you can resize these widgets and also you could uh, move them around. Let me get out of there. You can move them to wherever you want them. So that's, you know, basic shit. You know, not, nothing too fancy, but it works nice. Like I said, the phone is very responsive. <sighs> Gotta keep it real low. Not, you know, not, a, not as responsive as the Evo 3D, but you know, right there, top level though. You know what I'm saying? It's right up there. This is de definitely the second best phone from Sprint right now. All right, now let's put it right next to, we, like I said, we're gonna do a comparison video. We do a real review where we get into all of this, you know, apps and all that stuff. This is just a basic overview and just a quick unboxing and see what it look like. All right, but basically, 4.3 inch screen is the same size as the Evo 3D. Same size screen. All right. Now we can't judge the thickness factor because I got the extended battery on. So when I do the comparison, I put the regular Evo battery on. But um, the hardware on this, this is a definite go. All right, it, the build quality, it, it feels solid. Doesn't feel like cheap plastic. You know what I'm saying? It feels like, it feels like a rubberized kind of plastic material, which is which is nice. It feels it feels it feels good. The buttons, like I said, with this texture on it, you know, it, that just adds a nice touch. That's nice. You know, you got the built-in HDMI. I mean, this phone is a go so far fresh out the box, all right? For $600, you know, you, you expect, this is, this is exactly what you expect, all right? You don't expect to get some shit like, like the Nexus. Now, don't get me wrong, the Nexus was a good phone. A lot of people think I was bashing the Nexus and all that. The Nexus was a good phone, if it would have cost like $350, maybe even $400, all right? But you can't push that phone off of $500, and then you got phones like the Evo on the market, the Evo 3D, and, you know, you're going to compare it compared with those phones that have a lot of features and the Nexus just didn't have enough features on it. So that's why I call the Nexus a fail. But, like I said, if you wanna go to Sprint right now and you know you don't got a contract and you about to get a new phone and you gotta make a choice between the Photon 4G or the Evo 3D, right now I'm still going with the Evo 3D as the best phone out from Sprint, all right? This, this phone is the fastest one I use so far, most responsive. Let me show you. Let me just show you something. I know this is the unboxing for the for the photon, but let me just show you what I'm talking about. You see when you when when you swipe these, I mean this is this is responsive. All right, that's responsive. Let me show you on the photon now. Don't get me wrong, the photon is responsive too, but um, it's just not as fast as the Evo. You see, it's a little little bit of delay. Not I wouldn't call it lag, but just a, it's just not as fast as the Evo. When you start using the Evo 3D and you get spoiled with that with that you know snappy responsive screen. Any other phone that you compare it to is gonna feel slow. All right, so we're waiting on the on the Galaxy now. That should be a phone that's faster to compete with the Evo 3D. But anyway, back to the Photon 4G. On a scale of one to ten, fresh out the box, I'm giving it a nine. You know what I'm saying? I I just gotta get used to the Moto Blur and all that stuff right now. In the real review, we'll see how that worked out for me. But I just gotta get used to a few changes that you know when you get used to using HTC and all that, you gotta get used to this Motorola stuff. But um, out the box, it's a nine. It's a definite go. You already seen, you already seen the seal. It's a definite go. All right. Now, one thing that's that's a definite go for all my dudes out there that got the Motorola Zoom. Now, if you like me and you like to match your phone up with your tabs, like you like all your accessories and everything to be, you know, matched up. If you got the Motorola Zoom, as you can see, this is a floor certified approved go. Also, if you got the Zoom, look at the back of the Zoom and the back of the the photon all right look at that perfect match all right now my stick is covering up the motorola emblem but it's a perfect match so if you like to keep your shit unified like me then you know when i go out to the park and i want to chill i pull out the photon pull out the zoom you know what i'm saying it's just like wearing a matching hat when you're matching in a matching coat you know what i'm saying or or matching sneakers or match your, your jacket you know what i'm saying same shit so when i get to the park my shit looking you know looking official all right so this is a certified go as far as accessories, they got a couple of cases from Sprint. I just got this one. Now, you've seen this one when I did the Nexus video. It's the same company that makes this one. It's a two-part case. It's just a clip with a swivel. 
not not the most sturdiest swivel clip in the world, but everybody knows if you buy a case from Sprint, you know, it's automatic warranty on it. So if the shit does break, you just take it back, you know, for as long as you own it, which is a, a, a good look. That's why I always buy my cases from either Sprint or Best Buy, but mostly from Sprint. But you got this part right here, and you got this. All right, so it's just like a rubberized case. When you pop it on, pops on like this. You still have access to your kickstand or your buttons, and it slides right in the case. All right, so it looks nice. This is, you know, they didn't really have too many options right now, so I just had to go what I got, you know, whatever I had available. All right, so I'm gonna do the real review next week after I use this phone exclusively for a whole week straight, get a good feel of it and all that, and I'll let y'all know how that works out. All right. Now, shout out to my dudes, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking to my man, Black Prince 310. Shout out to my dude out there. He said he's going to go get one, so I'm going to look, look forward to checking out his opinion on this. Me, personally, I'm still rocking with the Evo 3D, but this is a good cop. Like I said now, if you got to get one or the other, wait for the real review if you, you, know, if you just got time to wait or whatever. But if you don't got no time and you just want to go get one tomorrow morning, get the Evo 3D. That's still the best phone out on Sprint right now. But the Photon 4D is 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 definitely coming in second place, a close second place. And like I said, once I play with it for a while longer, you never know. So far, the battery life on it, eh, that's going to be a problem. But nowadays, what smartphone isn't a, a problem with the battery? Now, you, as you can see on the battery right from this one, I took this off the charger at around, around 3 o'clock this afternoon. All right? So... Battery doesn't look like it's going to be that great, and I haven't even put all of my stuff on it yet. Like, I got my Facebook, my Foursquare, my Twitter, and all that, but I haven't even put all of, all of the rest of my apps on it yet. So, we'll see how that's really going to work with the battery. All right. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to the channel. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Hit me up. Y'all know how we're doing it. Hit me up on Facebook. That's where I be at. Shout out to everybody on Foursquare and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my YouTube dudes. You know what I'm saying? My man Josh, Alfonso, my boy Pat. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, you know, we just keeping the family up in here. You know what I mean? So shout out to all y'all. Shout out to all the girls that watch the videos too because um, my homegirl, she just hit me up. I, I should have pulled up the name, but um, I told you, matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to do this just for you. I'm going to pull up the name and give you that special shout out that I said I was going to get because she said that she'd be repping the tap game hard, you know, her and her boyfriend or whatever. You know, they, they, they watch the videos and all that. So I told her I'm going to shout her out. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Right now, you can stop the video too because that's it for the phone. I'm just talking a whole bunch of shit right now, but... Let me see. Oh, okay, Leslie. Shout out to Leslie and them over there. You know what I'm saying? They, the, the girls that's rocking with, with Floss and the, and the tech shit. You know, I see y'all out there. And we're just going to keep it moving, all right? Also, on another note, if you see my M35 walk around video from this morning, I was just fucking around, all right? I was kind of drunk. I just came back from the club. It was mad early in the morning. I just came back. I just wanted to see, though, if I could upload videos from YouTube. You know, from the phone and from the Evo 3D and see how long it would take. And I uploaded, I, up, I uploaded that video. It took about less than three minutes, you know, on a Wi-Fi network to upload from the phone straight to YouTube. Right? So that was just kind of an experiment. I was just fucking around, and you know what I'm saying? And if you watch the video and I sound funny or whatever, it's because I'm a little bit drunk. All right? So shout out to everybody who watched that video and all that. We keep it moving. All right? Tonight I'm going to go out, do the camera test and all that, and then I'll get back with y'all next week on a real review. All right? Your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.